In my last video, we talked about how to do a linear regression in Desmos. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to do a quadratic. I left my last example from a linear function because it does look more quadratic than linear. So the first thing is this is a black bar going across the top. This means I'm in the generic Desmos. Um, the features I'm going to show you are also available in the Virginia Desmos, which is green across the top in states Virginia. Um, your difference is going to be when you click the plus sign and you're in the Virginia SOL one, you're only going to have expression or table. You won't have the option to write notes, folders, or images. So before we talked about linear. So now I'm going to need to type in my quadratic. So I'm going to type it in. And you're going to notice I'm going to have some errors that appear. So I have it in. So the first thing I need to note is up in my table, I have these little ones. So if I go next to my X and type a one, it will automatically make it a subscript. And if I do the same thing beside my Y, it will do it. Um, so I have that typed in. So now if you look, not only do I have the caution sign beside my equation, I have it on my table. And that's because this is going to be a best fit. Um, it, so it's not necessarily going to touch every single point. It's going to do the best it can. So what I have to do is I have to change this to a squiggly and that squiggly is um, shift and then it's to the left of the one and it will make that appear. So now I have my equation, I have my A, my B and my C. And if you notice the R squared is much better um, for this problem as a quadratic than it was for linear because this is most likely a quadratic. So from here, I can add another table and start the process over again. I don't really like to do this um, because now I have to know to use twos in my equations instead of ones. So I just prefer to come up and just start over. So go up, table, and then I'm going to put in my numbers again. I have all my numbers in and it looks like a quadratic. It looks more like absolute value actually, but um, for algebra one, we only have quadratics and linear. So now I'm gonna type it in. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, then I'm gonna go back and put my little ones. You could of course put these in as you type and then put the squiggly. And now I have my equation. So this is how you can do um, curves of best fit for algebra one in Desmos.